Greetings, everyone. Well, so it continues. The saga of Zarin Izarak's busted down computer and assorted other gear. <laughs> yeah, sorry if this is boring to any of you, but as I mentioned a couple of parts ago, I really just want to sort of have a record of the whole sordid saga. So, you know, hopefully you're not too bored. Uh, it's really dark in here. Ah! Is that a, don't, I forgot to turn the lights on. Yeah, I've actually been up all night doing, well, this. And I'm also in the middle of, I'm actually in the middle of watching How the West Was Won. Um, yeah, I figure uh, that, that was one of the reviews that got screwed up by the cameras dying and messing up. So I figure, you know, I have all this time before I'll actually be able to edit any kind of a review, so why don't I actually sit down and watch the darn movie, and then I'll be able to do an even better review. Yeah, but anyway, we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about more bits and pieces from my old computer. Well, old as of about a week ago. Yeah, what am I keeping? What's staying? What's going? What am I selling? What am I just keeping in a box, hoping I'll find a use for it someday. Well, let's take a look at a few more items today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Well, as I think I mentioned a couple of segments ago, I've actually ordered a pile of components to essentially build my own replacement computer. But, of course, I am keeping some of the stuff from the other computer because, well, it's it's useful. We talked about the hard drives and the various other disk drives last time. One of the things I did is I've been kind of keeping everybody up to date on what's been going on uh, via my Twitter. Yet another reason, if you're not following me on Twitter, you should probably do so because, you know, Unfortunately, uh, when the computer died, I've been limited to um, using the PS3's internet browser in order to keep in touch with everybody. And while it has let me use Twitter, it doesn't really let me do much else. Um, I can't even watch YouTube videos on it, for example, because they're, they're, they're using an out-of-date Flash version that hasn't been used for like a year and a half. So. Yeah, apparently updating the browser is not a big priority for Sony, and quite frankly, it is the crappiest, most crippled web browser I've ever used in my life. I mean, it just barely lets me use Twitter, and despite the fact that the PS3 has like this killer processing power, for some reason Twitter just bogs it down to a crawl, and it takes me like five freaking minutes just to do one stinking tweet. I posted on Twitter sort of the progression of events, and I listed off the specs of the new computer. Now, essentially, I had a budget of about $500. Well, a little under $600, actually, but that's factoring in tax and shipping. So, effectively, $500 of actual parts. So, I had to see what I could do to make that $500 last and stretch as far as possible. So, I thought, well, okay, what are, what are some critical components that I have currently that I can use with the new system and then just upgrade later? One of the biggest ones, well... Obviously, I'm going to need something to put all these parts in, namely a computer case. So I thought, why buy a new one when I've got a perfectly good case right here? So you got room for the, the fan on the back, power supply on the top, got four slots, and you got this space on the back here. I actually had to uh, had to pop off the back panel from uh, here, something like that. Anyway, I had to pop that off because obviously that configuration is not going to be the same as what's on the back of the new motherboard. Ah, so, what do we got here? This is actually a compact Rosario case. Very nice. It used to have a card reader up front here as well, but I actually took that out because the card reader is kind of useless. Uh, first off, it only recognizes older model cards, not a lot of the newer ones. 
Second off, it doesn't even recognize a lot of the old ones anymore. It just kind of crapped out. So the only reason I actually kept it in there was A, it was a bit of a pain to remove, and B, it has an extra USB port. And, well, as I'm sure you can tell, looking at my myriad of hard drives and a lot of my other peripherals, such as the mouse and the keyboard and I think a few other things, my webcam, yeah, a few things. Anyway, I use a lot of, a lot of USB ports, which is actually why bought this, a 7 port USB 2.0 hub, and I also bought, got this one a while ago, I actually used this with the Pentium 3 for when I got the external hard drive, a PCI 4 port USB 2.0 card. Of course now they're coming out with USB 3.0 so that's going to be outdated, but whatever. USB 2 is fine for my purposes for now. So anyway, I needed something to put all the parts in, obviously. And by just using this case, and rather than buying a whole new one, meant I could save about 50 bucks. Plus I figured, why bother settling for a, a cheap case now, when that's something I can easily buy later? You know, I'll buy that later. Like, ideally what I really want to get is a full tower case. Something with, like, a crap load of drive bays that I can just load up with hard drives. So here's the cool thing about the compact case, is there's only one screw, that's it. And you can do it with your fingers, it's just a nice big finger screw. Got a little thing here, and the side just slides right off. There you go. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, one thing that's nice about the compacts is they make them really easily accessible. And then here, these clips, these are what, uh, you just slide the, say a hard drive in the front, and there's a slot there for the screws on the side, and it just clips right in there. Shunk. No shelving to deal with, no nothing. It just makes it really easy uh, to do. Don't mind the hammering outside. They're actually uh, putting in new mailboxes. So that's what all the racket is. So on the front here, I was going to take this off, but then I thought, you know what, I could, I could probably use this. Uh, we got two USB ports, a Firewire port, and then front audio ports, which is pretty cool. So that's the only actual wires that are in the back here. You got uh, the various connectors for those. The only thing is the motherboard I'm getting does not have uh, Firewire built in. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to connect that to anything. I don't know. Hopefully there's some kind of header on there that I can, I can use. Yeah. And then we just have the front. I'll actually see what the original specs were. What is it? Uh, socket A, 3200 plus AMD Athlon XP processor. Yeah, that's like one of the last generation single core processors from AMD. 512 megs of DDR memory, 200 gig hard drive, uh, <laughs> horribly slow DVD plus RW and CDRW burner, and a CD-ROM drive. Ah, here we are. Processor speed, 2.2 gigahertz, 512 kilobytes L2 cache, 400 megahertz front side bus. Yeah, but it was about the equivalent of a 3 to 3.2 gigahertz Pentium 4 single core, of course. Now, as for Firewire, uh, I've also got that covered because the Pentium 3, this a lot, see, a lot of this stuff goes all the way back to my Pentium 3 days, but things ha certain things haven't changed very much. Like USB 2 is still around, Firewire is still around, and really hasn't changed much. Uh, Firewire, you can get like a faster version of it, an 800 megabit per second version. Uh, this is still the 400, but that's okay because the 400 is fine for DV video, which is all I use it for. Um, and then for external hard drives, I just use the, uh, the USB 2. Uh, but basically, this is just a PCI card that has two, actually three FireWire ports. It's got two 6-pin and one 4-pin, so that's pretty cool. So either way, whatever your device uses, some of them are 6 to 6, some of them are 4 to 6 one way or the other way. So either way... I'm covered there because I got the two there. So even if I can't hook up the one on the front, I'll have three in the back that I can use. And I really, really only need one anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Well, we still got more parts to talk about. There's just so many. I mean, this is like three generations of computers all going into a new one, you know. So in short, so far, stuff that I'm keeping and that I'm using, obviously the hard drives, uh, at least one of the burners, uh, the USB 2 card, the Firewire card, and the case. So that's quite a lot of stuff. 
And then as for graphics and sound, well, we'll talk about that next time. I actually got a, a few different devices here, which, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that next time. Alrighty, so until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. So do you. Just admit it. Uh, ah, fuck's sake. Everything. Getting tangled on everything. God. Alright. Yeah. Testing, testing. We're good. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, well I guess, uh... Welcome back. Well, as I think I mentioned a couple of parts ago, uh... Welcome back. Well, uh, as I believe I mentioned a couple... Yeah. Well, one of the biggest ones... Yeah, was this. Which is the case. Yes. The, um... Where is it? Come on. What the hell? The only reason I kept it in there is because it had a, uh... Why did I keep it in there anyway? Where is it? It's over here somewhere. And then... Yeah. And then, what is it? Bleh, bleh.